Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Welcome, welcome everyone. Hope everyone's doing well today. And thank you for subscribing to my channel and welcome to the new subscribers. Um, welcome to those who've joined the membership. If you'd like to join the membership, cl click on join and the details are there. I do have special readings on that section of my channel if you'd like to check that out. And we'll begin. So we'll see what messages comes through. I love reading your messages. They're so, they're so nice and and thank you for um, sharing about how you say I love you in different languages. I was reading all of the different ways of saying I love you in your language. It's it's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, so the divine clearly, very clearly, um, they they are mentioning here that there's no love here. That's what I feel, that's what I sense, and that's what I see. There's no love here that has to do with the karmic energy because there was cheating here. There was a lot of cheating involved here. Um, there was jealousy, cheating, um, betrayal that happened between karmic person and divine masculine. There was no love. Divine masculine tried very hard to build a life, to build a foundation with this person. For some reason, divine masculine felt like this is not moving anywhere there's no progression here i feel stuck though he's trying though he was trying to build the connection he felt stuck some way he felt like held down like a, some kind of obligated to do it i feel like he was not building trying to build the connection because he wanted it he felt obligated to do it he felt obligated to be with this person so he he held on this is a divine masculine who held on to the karmic. And this karmic took advantage of the fact that she or he knew that there was no other choice. This karmic said, said and felt, I feel like they felt that this divine masculine has no choice but to stay with me. They felt very prideful about that. And... It feels like that's what they believe, that Divine Masculine has no other choice but to stay with me. And they took advantage of that thought that they sensed it from Divine Masculine that Divine Masculine will not leave. And Divine Masculine felt obligated to stay with this person. So he tried his best to make it work. But the Divine is showing that there is no love here. And that's the first thing I heard from the divine. No love here. There's a heaviness here. Somebody got called out on there. On their cheating. Somebody was. Um, somebody had exposed the truth about this uh, disloyalty from the karmic person. And this somebody is a family member. I'm not sure if it's a family member from Divine Masculine side or Karmic side, but some family member exposed the truth about this Karmic person and it, um, it fell apart. This situation fell apart. It was very messy. Um, this cleared out all that baggage Divine Masculine had. I feel like that burden, that heavy weight on Divine Masculine's shoulders that he felt that he needed to, he had no other choice but to stay, but to hold on to this connection. He had no choice but to toler tolerate this karmic person. That's what he felt, okay? I feel here, 
um, when it comes to this karmic person, I feel that this was part of their, um, because this is a twin flame journey, I feel like this was, um, the karmic was guided to do this because this was a lesson for Divine Masculine to learn. That was the role of this karmic individual. I feel like even the karmic person had questioned themselves like, why am I doing this? Why, why am I always feeling this way? This karmic is very low vibrational energy. They don't even know why they are, um, why they are always uh, feeling negative about everything. I see a lot of negativity here. But this was just the path that this karmic agreed to take to be a part of. Only thing we can do is pray that the karmic um, releases this energy so the karmic can move forward on their path to be with whoever they were meant to be with so that they can see the, the light, you know, the heavenly light so they can clear their energy, their kar karma, because they are consumed in darkness. And I don't feel like all of them will be able to feel um, feel that change, that opportunity to change. But I feel like some, some may, they may come, come through. Like they may come out of that energetic. I feel like the karmic person has an energetic karmic bond. And that needs to be released. Okay, so moving forward from that energy because it, I've, I feel it's exhausting energy. So I'm going to move forward. I see here that once the Divine Masculine, um, he makes uh, good decisions for himself, it's going to lead him into happiness it's going to help him become more he will he will have a lot of self-love and he will realize that true happiness is it starts from within that he cannot look for happiness outside of himself that happiness starts from within and i feel like he he didn't know that he was seeking to be like, what is the next thing? What will bring me happiness? If I obtain this, this will make me happy. If one day I, I do this or I achieve this, it will make me happy. But it doesn't matter how much he does. It doesn't matter what he, what he does or how much he achieves or what he gets in his life. Those things are just things in the end, end of the day. They will not bring him true happiness. They will not bring in fulfillment, especially if they're material things. Because at the end of the day, those material things are not going to be concerned for him. They're not going to ask him, how was your day, Divine Masculine? Did you have lunch today? Do you want to talk? How can something like that bring you true happiness? Loving self, respecting self, knowing one's worth, praying, being connected to divine. That will bring him true fulfillment. And that's what he's going to obtain. That's what he's going to learn. He's going to be awakened He's going to be aware, alert, consciously aware of his emotions. Rather than just going with the flow, he will be alert. He will be like, why do I feel this way? I need to make some sort of change. I need to change something. I don't want to feel this way anymore. And once he lets go of this feeling of always needing to please others or always needing to um, do things out of obligation 
because I feel like this not this is not the first time he felt obligated to do something. There could have been other people in the divine masculine's life where he felt obligated to do stuff. He didn't have he didn't have enough self-worth to say, "You know what? I need to think about myself first before I agree to do this, this and this for other people." I feel like he gave a lot not just to this karmic person, he may have given to other people as well. But I feel like this, this knowledge will, will help him understand the lack, the lack, what he did not give to the divine feminine. That's why he is being shown this, that it's important to give to self and to give to those who are not there because they are selfish in any way. I feel like he gave to others who did not give in return, that did not, um, did not think about Divine Masculine's best interest. Divine Feminine is a giver. Divine Feminine is Somebody who will think about others as well. It's not selfish. It's selfless. But at the same time, Divine Feminine is very strong. And they have a lot of self-love and self-worth. But the difference here between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine is that Divine Masculine did not have self-love, self-worth. And he gave he gave for different reasons, not because he was selfless, but because he felt obligated to do so. That's a different way of giving. And there was selfish selfishness here because he thought about himself when it comes to the divine feminine. So it's different. Divine Feminine gives out of the goodness of her heart. Divine Masculine was giving out of obligation or feeling the pressure, the need to do so. I see the Divine is showing that Divine Masculine still doesn't see that he needs to stand up for himself. He's not aware that this is something very important for him to do in order to make that shift. Once he stands up truly for himself, like I need to know what's best for me. I need to act uh, on what I feel. I need to make my own decisions. I need to know my self-worth. Once he's, he's done that, he will transform. That shift, an energetic shift will happen. It will take place and there will be a huge transformation here. And there will be a release of attachment, release of baggage, release of bondage, and release of that idea that I have to give out of obligation. I have to give because that's my ex that's what other people expect of me to do. People have high expectations of this divine masculine. And I feel like in some cases, out of love, he, out of love for those individuals, he did also did that. Because he, those people knew Divine Masculine loved them. And those people asked Divine Masculine to do certain things for them, favors, or whatever it was. Because they knew Divine Masculine will not say no. He needs to learn how to say no. This lesson is connected. This lesson that he learns, it will help him understand what, what he did not give to the Divine Feminine. It will help him understand how the Divine Feminine felt when Divine Feminine didn't receive in return. 
And I feel like Divine Feminine gave, gave, gave without the expectation of receiving anything because Divine Feminine gave out of the goodness of their heart. They didn't do something like, I'm giving you this, I'm doing this for you, Divine Masculine, with the expectation of, I want in return, that you have to give me in return. No, that's the karmic way of doing things. That's what the karmic did. If the karmic did something for Divine Masculine, I'm pretty sure that this karmic energy made sure that this Divine Masculine didn't forget the favor or whatever this karmic person did and asked for a lot in return. But when the Divine Feminine gave, gave to Divine Masculine, it was out of love that here, I'm giving this to you because I love you. But Divine Masculine took it without ever thinking that maybe I should give as well. And Divine Feminine never expected that Divine Masculine will, will give in return, that I expect him to give exactly the same thing or more. I feel like Divine Feminine was so much in love, so open to love with Divine Masculine that they were willing, openly willing to give, give, give. And that's how Divine Feminine got hurt because when you're constantly giving, 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 eventually Divine Feminine will feel that I'm giving so much, but there's something missing here. And that was the, the support, the, the love, the openness, the selflessness of the Divine Masculine that was lacking. He didn't openly give back. And I feel like if he gave back, he just gave crumbs. Like he didn't give openly. Divine is sharing, sharing with me that in some cases when Divine Feminine said, I love you to Divine Masculine, he went silent. He didn't even say, I love you back. He may have said, me too. That's what I feel. Divine, Divine said very clearly, he did not say I love you back. In some cases, when Divine Feminine and you two were together, you said I love you Divine Masculine and you expected him to say I love you back, but he did not say that. He may have said me too. Just for the sake of saying it, because he didn't feel it at that time. He hesitated. I feel like he hesitated to say those words. And if he did say those words back, it was not um it was not an open expression of his divine love. There was no emotion attached to those words. Some cases he may have went silent. I feel like if he said, I love you too, um, it was, they were words, but there was no emotion. There was no divine love attached to it because he was not awake in that time. He said it again out of obligation. See, it comes back to the obligation of trying to do things for others, for karmic. It's quite sad, but that's what, what I feel and that's what I got from, from this reading. Okay, so we're going to continue forward. Let's see what else is here. Yeah, Divine Feminine, um, she became very strong. She became very independent, balanced. She knew that this, actually this uh, disconnect with, with the Divine Masculine, at first it was very difficult, but Divine Feminine realized that this was needed. This was needed for Divine Feminine's growth. She continued to move forward. I feel in the beginning you felt 
maybe held back in some sort of way that like you didn't have the drive to move forward in the beginning but I feel like you got up again and you kept working hard because you knew that what happened was not fair and you knew that you had no control over it this was something beyond your control this was something that was beyond you and the divine masculine you let it go to the divine you released it you acknowledged that this was something that the divine masculine had to work out and this was something for your benefit because it helped you to grow to a better divine feminine you are much better than who you were then you were you are a completely different person and in, you know, you know now that that time you accepted certain, I feel like you accepted certain, um, it's kind of like if Divine Masculine reacted a certain way, which now you will not accept that kind of behavior. But you accepted certain behavior from the Divine Masculine out of love. That time you were really deeply in love that you could not see anything else beyond that. Now you are very clear. You have your third eye is open here. You're aware. You know what you deserve. You know your self-worth. And you know that whatever divine masculine were to do now, you will stand up for yourself. You will speak up because you know your worth. And right now you have already accepted um, if divine masculine is not in communication with you, I feel like you're okay with that because you're still doing what you need to do. And you know that even if you were to do your best again to try to re rebuild the connection or try to hold on to Divine Masculine, that it's still in the, in the hands of the Divine. It's still in Divine timing. That you know that it's out of your hands. That no one has control over this situation except for the Divine. That each, each thing has to play out in its own timing. And you've accepted that. You are so alert and aware. But you're okay. You're okay with what's going on now. Because you are a queen. You are in your higher highest power as a divine feminine. Okay? So that's what I see for this reading. This is such an awesome reading. I love, I love this one. I really like this one. If you like this reading, please leave a comment below. Um, subscribe to my channel. Um, you can join the membership if you like as well. And thumbs up, please. And thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Bye.